Dr. Will, thank you for joining us. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about the paperwork filed on behalf of Mrs. Taylor? The paperwork that was actually filed uh, was with the Department of Justice Civil Rights Division. Um, it was filed on behalf of the Taylor family, uh, requesting an independent investigation and review um, of the shooting that involved their son, Joseph Dwayne Taylor, who uh, died, succumbed to gunshot wounds on Sunday night. Okay, so with this effort to file this paperwork, why, what all does this paperwork encompass that's going to the DOJ? Uh, but with it, the paperwork actually goes over the details uh, as far as the number of individuals that were involved, uh, the three officers, as well as Joseph Smith, um, any eyewitness footage, which includes the cell phone footage captured by Mr. Powell, uh, description of the event, uh, the press release statement that was issued out by the state police and the city of Shreveport stating that it was just a routine traffic stop for uh, unauthorized lane usage and so on and so forth, uh, as well as the incidents of what occurred at approximately 9.30 p.m. on April the 23rd, uh, which was um, Mr. Taylor becoming uncooperative, the tasering being ineffective, uh, which led to what's in the video footage of the three officers on top of him and then suddenly jumping away while Mr. Taylor was being shot. So are there other families included in this uh, effort to get the, DO the Department of Justice to investigate the Shreveport Police Department? On this particular case number, there is not. Uh, each individual request has to be filed separately per family. Uh, with it, we're looking at approximately a dozen to 13 cases that are being filed. So each of these um, requests for an investigation is being filed separately on behalf of the family? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so with those other families, are there any other family names that we covered that we may recognize that are fighting for justice still? At the moment, I can't state that, uh, but with the family's permission, I can move forward and contact you with that and give you more details. And why do you think it got to this point where you needed to reach out to the Department of Justice versus Louisiana State Police or um, maybe another agency within the region? Uh, with it, because with all of the investigations and all of the submissions to the grand jury that have taken place over just the past two or three years alone. With it, it's always been the same result, which is hardly any transparency um, and the majority of the officers are back on duty. Uh, with it, Ms. Taylor stated specifically that she wants to put a change to this because what's to keep another 33 year old male or younger or older from experiencing the same tragedy that her son experienced. So with it, she wanted to do something that created a change and that would make a positive change in the future to avoid or to try to minimize the amount of anguish and heartache that families are experiencing by just changing the policy. So by bringing in independent investigations on a federal level from the Department of Justice, hopefully it will review the policies and procedures that take place during law enforcement's interactions with different members of the community. So what do you think so far of the community's um, support of the family? The support of the family with the marches and the rallies that have taken place uh, has been very visible. Um, but with that, we have to be in it for the long haul. I've spoken on this on other subjects to where it's going to be a long, hard fought battle. And with that, I believe that when the families, the families themselves, not me as a sociologist, not other members as activists, but when the families themselves 
stand together in lockstep speaking out against in def custodies or officer involved shootings and so on if they stand up and speak out together lock arm hand in hand together then with that that will be the most effective thing because by not becoming silent speaking out on it regularly confronting asking for answers and transparency regularly together family with family because unfortunately they're part of a brotherhood and sisterhood that no parent wants to go through which is dealing with the death of their child so the support has been there visibly um, and i look forward to the families reaching out to each other to support each other through this and see what kind of effective long-term change can be created so how many hours and how much effort collecting information from the families from law enforcement did it take in order to put this these cases forward to the department of justice with it from the time of april the 23rd up until today uh, several days combined with i think it was a total of 42 hours of information gathering um, and the actual submission to the Department of Justice uh, only took an hour, hour and a half. So it's way shorter when you have the information already gathered to submit the request through to the Department of Justice. And with that, the footage, the visibility, unfortunately, of the shooting that took place on Sunday night, that footage actually helped expedite the process. Okay. So any Yep, so any witnesses, any eyewitness accounts would also be much appreciated, not just for the Taylor family, but also with the Bagley family or the McLaughlin family or the numerous other families that are out there. Any eyewitness accounts with people that are willing to speak with the Department of Justice would be much appreciated because that will help with bringing about change. Is there a certain time frame in which you expect to hear back from the Department of Justice? Is this something you all have done before on behalf of a family? Uh, typically, it does vary um, because it does depend upon the body cam footage being released and so on also. Uh, but with that, it varies. So it could take anywhere from a matter of days to a matter of weeks. Um, as they respond to family, they'll notify the family and let them know where they're at with the investigation. All right, well, thank you so much, Dr. Will. I appreciate you speaking with us and we definitely look forward to um, following this investigation if the, DO the DOJ decides to investigate and we are following the family and this case. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, have a good one. Thank you.